Abracadabra is a production of the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine and its Healthy Children's Initiative, working for a healthier West Virginia. Additional funding for this program is provided by Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare. Learn more about our 5210 campaign to keep kids healthy on the web at camc.org forward slash kids. Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield West Virginia, offering affordable insurance products for all your needs. Find the right coverage for you. Visit highmarkbcbswv.com. We've got you covered. West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, working every day with physicians and the entire healthcare community to improve public health. For more information, visit us online at wvmic.com. And by the Brick Street Foundation, proud to support local organizations that make a positive difference, helping communities grow to their fullest potential. For more information, visit us online at brickstreetfoundation.org. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Abracadabra. Joey the Great welcomes you. Joey the Great? Yes, you're just in time. In time for what? I have to show you my cards. Well, what do you have? Well, see, I have a card here, yeah? and I say Abracadabra, and voila, a card is gone. Wow, Joey, the card disappeared. That's wonderful. Thank you, thank you. I, oh, Joey, it's taped to the back of the glove. Oh, uh, pay no attention to the card on the glove. Yes, I see. Look, I have something else over here. I got some cards, yeah, and I'm gonna make an instant fan. Watch, look at that. Wow, that's really good card work. Thank you. I have one more here, take these. Okay, I, oh, Joey. <laughs> All right, what else do you have? Watch, I make a card fall. Look at this. Wow, that is great card work. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. I, oh, Joey, they're attached together. Oh, <laughs> oh, Joey. Phew, all this gardening's making me hungry. How about a healthy snack? Hey, Salty, Max and I are hungry. Right, how about putting together one of your healthy snacks, Salty? Oh, ahoy there, mateys, what a great idea. Uh, let's make pirate chips. <laughs> pirate chips? We can't eat a pirate ship. Oh, of course you can. Here. Look at these. <laughs> wow, they look great. How do we make them, Salty? Well, the first thing I learned in pirate school is any time you prepare food, you wash your hands with soap and water. So, uh -oh. there we go. Now we're ready. All right, so you take an apple and you cut it into eight slices. I usually end up with seven because uh, I ate one. Ha ha ha, get it? <laughs> yes. Well, anyhow, uh, Max, why don't you make one with me? Here, have a piece of apple, yes. So you take the apple, which is the ship, and you take a piece of cheese, put that in, and now you've got a sail, a mast, and a ship, an edible pirate ship. 55 calories, three grams of fat, Loaded with vitamins A and C and calcium. <laughs> wow, let's eat. Yes, let's. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Mike, that's pretty cool. Neat. Joey the Great. Uh, <laughs> how about if Mike the Great 
did a magic trick for us. Now that would be great. <laughs> sure, let me see. Oh, I have just the trick. I have an empty bottle and a lid. I'm put the lid on the bottle. And I've got a handkerchief here. I'm gonna take the handkerchief and sort of stuff it into my hand like this. Watch real carefully. I'm gonna take a magic wand, wave it over. Can you help with the magic words? Ready? Abracadabra. And you see the handkerchief is gone from here. Take a look at the empty bottle. The handkerchief Whoa, is now good. in the bottle. That was oh, a great okay. trick. <laughs> Let's play the grocery shelf game. When you go into the grocery store, there are lots of products on the shelves. How do you decide which ones to buy? Here are some items from the grocery shelves. Can you select the three items that I should put into my shopping basket? Which ones would you choose? How about this macaroni and cheese? No! No, because it has a lot of calories in it. What about tomato sauce? Yes! Yes, the tomato sauce is a good choice. How about classic potato chips? No! No, because they're loaded with salt and fat. How about tortillas? Yes, they're very good, and you can put peanut butter on them. What about tuna? Maybe! That's right. Though they're high in antioxidants, make sure you get them in water and not in oil. And that's our third item for the basket. So the next time you go into the grocery store, pick the healthy items off the shelf, and you'll be a winner. <laughs> it's time for more fun! I'm getting thirsty. I think there's some water in the fridge. Let's see. Hi, Mike. Want an orange? What? What are you two doing in the refrigerator? Keep it cool, man. Keeping cool. Say, Mike, why are peas small and green? I don't know. Why? Because if they were big and red, they would be tomatoes! Ah, ah, <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Now, don't catch cold. Don't worry, I'm full of vitamin C, and that helps to keep you healthy. Oh yeah? Well, I'm loaded with potassium, and that helps your muscles. Well, I have... Bye, guys. We'll see you later. Ahoy there! Salty, what are you up to? Oh, I've decided to cook. Cook? <laughs> uh, yes, you've heard about the new food plate, haven't you? Oh yes, it's called the My Plate and it shows you all the food groups that you need to have daily. Fruits and vegetables, protein, grain, and dairy. Uh, oh yes, well, I've decided to scurry up some victuals and create a delectable food plate for everyone in the magic shop. Well, be sure to watch your proportions. <laughs> You need half the plate with fruits and vegetables, a quarter grains, mm. a quarter protein, mm. and then you can have a little dairy like a glass of low-fat milk. Uh, uh, yes, of course. I, uh, listen, I have me plate right here. Salty? <laughs> what? I don't think this is the proportion size we're talking about. But I'm hungry. I sense it's time for Professor Science. Yeah. Hi, girls and boys. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make a simple electrical circuit using potatoes. All you need to do this experiment is potatoes, galvanized nails, copper pennies, and wires connected to alligator clips. And I'm gonna have a clock right here so that you can see that the electrical circuit actually works. So what you do is you take two potatoes and you stick a nail in each of them, and then also a copper penny. Now we have to connect our electrical circuit with our wires. So I'm gonna clip one end to this nail and the other end to this penny. And then this wire I'm gonna connect to this nail and over to the wire to connecting to our clock. And then finally, I'm gonna take the last wire and attach it to the penny, 
and now attach it to the last wire to the clock. And look at that. The clock comes on. And we'll switch it over to the seconds. What's going on is we've created an electrical circuit. And the way we did that was in the potato is phosphoric acid. And a chemical reaction occurs within the potato between the, the zinc on the nail and the copper of the penny. And it forms an electrical current which passes through the wire to the clock to turn it on. Boys and girls, you can make this at home. If you want to learn more about science, just go to our website. And remember, it looks like magic, but it's science. I called a friend to see if I could get a real food plate for Salty. Alicia! <laughs> Duck, uh, hi Mike. <laughs> Duck, I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? I've been chasing cars. Chasing cars? Yeah. I've heard of dogs chasing cars, but not ducks. Oh yeah, I can go faster than a dog. Uh, yeah, that's true. Don't you know that it's dangerous to chase cars? You could get run over. Uh, well, I don't actually chase them. I sort of fly overhead. I see. Yesterday, I chased a soda cost. A soda cost? What's a soda cost? About 50 cents. <laughs> I got that for salty. <laughs> yeah, very funny. <laughs> you want to go chase cars this afternoon? Well, no, Duck, I don't think so. Besides, I have to take a trip. Oh, yes, I have to go catch a train. Catch a train? And you think I'm crazy for chasing cars. Well, see you later. Bye, illusion. <laughs> Doc, but... Oh... Oh, it's time for the exercise song. Well, get on your feet, move your body. Exercise daily, move your body. You will see if you move your body, you will be healthy. Run or ride your bike, move your body. A sport you like, move your body. Get on For a quick trick. Say, Daisy, those are great fruits for our food plate. Mm -hmm. I've got a deck of cards. I want you to take a card. Okay. Take a look at it and show it to everybody. Don't forget the card. Okay. 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 I'm going to take your card and I'm going to place it down inside the deck. Okay. I want to see if I can predict what card you chose. Okay. Okay. I see grapes. Yes. And I see the Jack of Grapes. Yes. That's your card? Yeah. Can you predict your assistant's card? Sure you can. I'll show you how after this. Today's quick trick is brought to you by spinach. Spinach is a leafy green vegetable packed full of nutrients. There are three general types of spinach. Savoy, smooth leaf, and baby spinach. You can have fresh spinach as a salad or on a sandwich. You can even add it to your lasagna. Spinach contains vitamin K. Calcium. And potassium. It's also high in iron. Place those all together, and you have spinach. Eat some spinach today and get an alphabet of vitamins. Yeah. Now, here's the quick trick secret. Ask mom or dad for an old deck of playing cards. Take about 20 of the cards. On every card, there are numbers. Those are called the indices. 
take a paper punch, and if you're not allowed to use a paper punch, yes, mom or dad to help or another adult. And punch out the bottom index. So you have a big hole, like that. Okay. I've already done that to a bunch of cards to save us some time. Now take those cards and place them on the bottom of the rest of the cards. Okay. Turn the deck over and you're ready to begin. Okay. Ask your assistant to select a card. Try not to have them pick one of them with the holes in it. Show the card, remember the card, mm -hmm. okay? Now, you place the card back in, down where the holes are. Okay. Now as you turn the deck over to look at the card, you can actually see the card through the holes. And then you can predict your card. <laughs> and that's the Quick Trick secret. For more Quick Tricks, be sure to check out our website. In the meantime, try this one at home and you'll fool your friends. The governor's really gonna like this plant for his garden, Mrs. Tomlin. Thanks, Daisy, it's just perfect. You know how the governor loves to grow a garden. Gardening is a lot of fun, and you can grow any kind of fruit or vegetable in your own backyard. Yes, eating fruits and vegetables is very important to keep you healthy. <laughs> You're right. Here's the plant for you. Thanks so much. I'm gonna go over and see Mike now. There's something I have to give him, and I do want to see a magic trick. Bye-bye <laughs> okay. now. Bye. Oh, it's the First Lady of West Virginia, Joanne Tomlin. Hi, Mrs. Tomlin. Hi, Mike. How are I you? brought the My Plate food plate, just like you asked me to do. Oh, thank you so much. I've been trying to get Salty to watch his portions when he eats. Well, you know, to stay healthy, it's very important to eat the right portions on your plate. You have to have fruits and vegetables, grains, proteins, and dairy. Oh, they're absolutely right. Thank you so much for bringing this. Hey, Mike, while I'm here, I don't suppose you'd show me a magic trick. <laughs> oh, I'd love to. Actually, I have great. something that I've sort of set up over here. Do you happen to have a dollar on you? I believe I do. Oh, great. There we go. Can you take this pen and write something on the dollar bill so you'll know that that's the same dollar bill? Okay. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> First lady. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna take the dollar bill and I'm gonna fold it up. Okay. Like that. Mm -hmm. Now I have a couple of tubes. I wanna show you that if I take the bill and I throw it in the tube, it just comes out the other end. Okay. If I throw it into that one, it also comes out of that end. Mm -hmm. right. Now, I'm gonna take your dollar and I'm gonna wrap it into a handkerchief with a rubber band. Fold it all up together. And I'm going to place it into this glass. I'm going to place the two over the glass. And I'm going to take this glass and place it into that two. Now watch, I'm going to say the magic words, abracadabra. Take a look what's happened. Your handkerchief Whoa. and your dollar bill are gone from the glass. Where'd they go? Take a look over here. Look, it's what's happened to that. There's something inside. Take off the handkerchief and the rubber band. Take out what's inside the glass. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Is that your dollar bill? It's my dollar bill. <laughs> there you go, how about that? Thank you. <laughs> welcome. Thank you so much for bringing the My Plate food plate. Oh, you're welcome, Mike. And remember, your portions. Oh, absolutely. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Today, we're going to do an illusion with the Abracadabra deck of playing cards and some balloons. I need a volunteer. Ashley, come on up and help me with that. I'm going to shuffle the cards while you're coming up. Okay. Here's what I want you to do, Ashley. As I uh, flip through the cards, you tell me when to stop. Okay? Stop. Right there. Okay, take a look at the card. Okay. I'm gonna show it to the boys and girls at home. Okay. And I'm gonna show it to all of our audience. And actually, I can look at it too. Oh, it's the Queen of Carrots. It's pretty good. All right, let's see what we can do here. I have all of these pretty balloons on this tray. Here's what I want you to do, Ashley. I want you to select one of the colors and whatever color balloon you pick, your card is gonna appear. 
uh, uh, behind that. Is that okay? All right, good. And uh, oh, uh, okay. Well, you have three balloons, Ashley. So select one of those, and your card will appear inside the. Uh, Okay, well, so we have two balloons, all right? <laughs> well, we have one balloon, Ashley. Go ahead, select a color, and let's see if we can make your card appear. Uh, green. Green, very good. Can you all say abracadabra? Abracadabra! Oh, wow! wow. And your card has appeared. Wow, thank you for helping me with that. Salty. Oh, <laughs> ahoy there. <laughs> oh, ye are just in time. <laughs> I'm getting ready to cook with eggs. Oh, careful. <laughs> the eggs can break easily. Ha! <laughs> Salty is a great chef. Yeah. Well, you see, uh, first I have an egg, and then I have a pan. I put the egg in the pan, and I fry it. <laughs> The egg, not the pan. Hmm. Salty's a good cook. Ha! All of us great chefs toss our eggs. Oh, be careful. You're going to make a mess. <laughs> That's why I only use rubber eggs. Oh, <laughs> rubber? And all of those are rubber, too. Oh. <laughs> oh, by the way, I brought you a real food plate. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, I suppose I do have too much food on me plate. <laughs> and too big yeah. of a plate. <laughs> I best watch me proportions if I want to stay healthy. <laughs> That's a good thing, Salty. Well, yes, now, uh, let's get back to the rubber eggs. Why don't you try one? Uh, you know, you can give them a squeeze. <laughs> Go ahead, girls. <laughs> Spongy. <laughs> Mike, you too. Give it a squeeze. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Oops! Oh, how did that real egg get in with all of the rubber ones? <sighs> oh, uh, uh, maybe it's a good time for a song. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> one quarter full of protein, one quarter full of grains, one half vegetables and fruits. That's the food on my plate. He will grow up strong and healthy and not gain too much weight. If he just eat in proper portions of all food groups every day. One quarter full of protein, one quarter full of grains, one half vegetables and fruits, that's the food on my plate. A balanced diet will keep me healthy while I'm sailing on the seas. And don't forget to add some dairy like yogurt, milk, or cheese. One quarter full of protein, one quarter full of grains, one half vegetables and fruits. That's the food on my plate. What a fun day, <laughs> yes. And we want to thank First Lady Joanne Tomlin for stopping by today. She was great. She sure was. Oh, by the way, Joy, what are you going to put in your journal today? Well, today I learned all about the My Plate Food Plate. That's important. And I learned about the food groups. Fruits and vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. Yeah, and I learned it's important that they're in the right proportions. That's good. Say, Nike, why don't eggs tell jokes? I don't know, Joey. Why don't eggs tell jokes? Cause they'd crack each other up. <laughs> oh, say goodbye, Joey. Bye, everyone. Thank you for being my friend. And remember, boys and girls, the real magic is in you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Crack each other up. Chasing cars. <clears throat> oh, sorry. A galvanized snail. Copper pet one I need to see. Deplane, deplane. You too can make this.
you too can make this uh, simple electrical circuit at home. If you want to learn more about science, just go to our website. Remember, it looks like magic, but it's science. Yeah, we gotta do it again. Toss our eggs. Who oh, don't drop it? <laughs> <laughs> Five second rule. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. I'm gonna go over and see Mike now. I have something to give him. <laughs> you do? <laughs> Yes, I do! <laughs> Abracadabra is a production of the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine and its Healthy Children's Initiative, working for a healthier West Virginia. Additional funding for this program is provided by Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare. Learn more about our 5210 campaign to keep kids healthy on the web at camc.org forward slash kids. Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield West Virginia, offering affordable insurance products for all your needs. Find the right coverage for you. Visit highmarkbcbswv.com. We've got you covered. West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company working every day with physicians and the entire healthcare community to improve public health. For more information, visit us online at wvmic.com. And by the Brick Street Foundation, proud to support local organizations that make a positive difference, helping communities grow to their fullest potential. For more information, visit us online at brickstreetfoundation.org.